that's that's what you can hold. Yeah. 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 I, I have Double jail. Really, uh, high five. Triple homicide. Yeah. I'm feeling it. I'm gonna check him. What the fuck? Let's see what happens. Did he fit this way? Yeah. Why? I'm looking at DJ. Murder spree. Hello, fellow Araxians. My name's Commander Sirius. Well, we've been waiting and the time has come. Squirt guns are here. Plus the good old water balloons. Plus the directive to grind. And new this year, we do have a variant of the Thumper, the Mega Soaker. Now, I gotta say, I'm very partial to the pistol personally. It really shines in busy rooms because there is no friendly fire. So when everyone's just suiciding on point, just pop that sucker out and just fire at anything you can. One of its features though, that's a double-edged sword is its water projectile is very large. So that means it can clip boxes or whatever you're trying to shoot around. It also means that if you got a clear shot, it's pretty easy to hit things. Do remember there is no headshot multiplier with the water pistol, but if you hit the head, it still bypasses the nano weave armor that's on the rest of the character. So headshots still do more damage. There's a directive to grind this year. The silver tier nets you some ISO 4 and an implant pack. The gold tier nets you 500 A7. And the final tier has a title and a banner. So guys, it's fun to have some additional weapons to play around with, but the best part about the event is probably not the directive. It's actually this, the absurd amount of double XP they're dishing out the month of August. Starting today, August 6th, is the first of every weekend in August being a double experience weekend. The first three weekends are for everyone, free to play, and members. Do remember that the membership bonus stacks with that double experience. And then the last weekend is a members only double experience weekend. So guys, if you are ever thinking about getting membership, this is definitely the month to have it. You will really maximize its effectiveness by running it throughout the double experience weekends. And then if you have some leftover 30 minute experience boosts, or if you just pop for one, that will really maximize your farming ability. So guys, go out there, get wet, and happy squirt gunning. Just a quick reminder for anyone that doesn't know how the water balloons work. You get four by default. It does not work with grenade bandolier. They have a decent area of effect splash, but they explode on impact. So you have to land them right on your enemies. You can't bounce them around a corner and they are extremely spammable. Okay, finally guys, there's been a portion of our community that's been waiting for so long to hear about an update, and news has arrived. PlayStation 4, a major update is coming to you by the end of this month. Expect the majority of that content to be associated with the robots, the NS Operatives update. They also are waiting for the campaign to finish, it sounds like there may be some performance issues of actually bringing something like the containment site over, but hopefully they deliver some form of the third chapter so they can round out that campaign. When they release the actual details, I will let you know right away. So hang in there, PlayStation 4 soldiers. Help is on the way. Next up, guys, we are currently in the brainstorming cycle of how to help the new player experience. If you guys weren't there for it, the developers asked a question of the community. What are the top three questions you received from new players? And we broke it down into these categories. If you guys have not filled out that survey yet, please, description, check it out. The more responses we get, the better data we'll have. I'm going to let that run from one more week and then shut it down. Most of the pie chart is filled up with things that are just generally player skills. You can improve them over time, but there's always going to be a difference between the extremely awesome shooters and the players that may not have as great reflexes. Skill disparities, weapon power, and awareness questions. How do I not die? This pie chart is weighted. That is, if it's the first question people hear, that's 100%. Second question they hear, that's 75% weight. And third question is 50% weight. This is the total result. Moving on now that we've brought up the areas that people are getting asked questions, we're now discussing... How do we help solve these things? Where would you like to see the developers make adjustments to the game to improve these areas in the new player experience? So on Mondays, we're streaming brainstorming sessions where we're bringing up ideas 
And then later in the week, I'm going to be releasing on Twitter. It'll be released at the stream. I'll try to release it on YouTube. This one will be up there. A survey where you can vote up the most effective suggestions that people came up with. So please take the time to fill out that survey. And then next Monday, if you want to make sure your idea is on there, come out to the brainstorming session. And before I go, guys, I want to give you a quick update on some things you may have been seeing happening on the servers. I don't like to bring attention to it, but I think it's important they know that the devs are on it and that they've acknowledged it and have responded to it. Over the past few days, you may have logged in and seen some gigantic weird structures forming up. What's happening is some hackers are able to deploy thousands of same objects. They're using either vehicle pads or infantry terminals or teleporter pods. And they're making these ornate, elaborate, sometimes beautiful structures. When available, the devs are actively banning them and then restarting the servers. So if you find yourself happily playing along and all of a sudden it says server restart and you get kicked to the VR training room, that's what's happened. The devs are actively working with BattleEye, who manages the anti-cheat in this game, to fix these cheaters permanently. If you guys didn't know this, and please only use this if you have clear evidence like this of someone hacking, you can email that evidence to cheaters at planetside2.com. Okay, soldiers, that is going to be it for right now. Looking forward to more squirt guns, more brainstorming, and the next exciting streams. And guys, we are down to the wire on 30,000 subscribers, less than 100 people to go. It's been a long time since Planet Side 2 had someone that mained Planet Side 2 for content creation that had over 30,000 subs. So thank you guys for your continued support. And if you are new here, please click that button and follow along. That is all for now, fellow Araxians. And until next time, I will see you Planet Side. <laughs>